Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back for the hashtag 50 stack challenge four. This is the last day of the challenge for number four. Next, excuse me, next week we will start on the hashtag 50 stack challenge five. Okay, so uh, this is a prompt assignment challenge. Next time it will be set up the exact same way. Um, this time we are doing prompts that you could turn into like journal prompts or you know an idea for the beginning of a journal sort of thing so um for example last week i drew two prompts out of my little paper bag i drew number 47 was mushroom and that's in my mushroom book that i don't have here but anyway it, i did a mushroom page in a journal that's mine and then bees was number 48 so i made this little um journal pocket doesn't have any tags or anything yet but it's just made out of book page and um, put the little bee baby on there and some bees so that is all you have to do you can interpret the prompts in whatever way you desire or works for you I um, am not the 50 stack challenge police I just think it's a fun way to build up your ephemera so if there's a week you don't like or don't want to do don't do it. I mean, it's it's fine with me. Or like I said, you can interpret it how you want and uh, make items that work for you. Like this, for example, excuse me, wouldn't have to be for a bee journal. You could do something that maybe has a flower with a bee. Something as simple as that. It doesn't have to be all bee. It's just how you want to interpret it, okay? So for 49 and 50, and there aren't only two left in here, I usually throw in a couple extras just, I don't know, because that's the way I do it. So number 49 will be Angel. Again, your interpretation of that. And then 50. Is lace. So very easy. You could do if you want to. You could make a Christmas piece of ephemera that you could use in a Christmas journal um, near Christmas so that it's all ready to go and you can just pop it in there if you want to for angel. Or of course, you may do um, a whole angel journal. You know, it's totally up to you. And then lace for number 50. So that is what we're going to have this week. Next week's challenge, like I said, is going to be completely random prompts. These are pretty random, so I, I can't say that um, that isn't random. But it, there'll be things like, you know, favorite color, favorite song. I don't know. Um, I can't think of them off the top of my head, even though I, I wrote them all. But anyways, it'll, it'll just be totally random. So <laughs> that's what we will start next Monday. So if you didn't do this challenge with me and you want to do one of these challenges, it's going to start next Monday. And that is, I believe, the 24th or something like that. So anyways, that is the plan. And I will be right back with my stuff for these two prompts. Okay, I am back. So 49 is Angel. I found this image in collage soup. And I keep ending up using the same book. <laughs> it just has really cool stuff in it. A little bit of this and that. So that's the one that I got the angel out of. And then I got this out of the compendium. Collage soup. It's just uh, like an old blurred out who knows what photo. So I have that that I'm going to use. And then some other bits and pieces. So... First thing I want to do is I'm going to put a hinge on this angel because I want it to go on. Uh, this is a piece of coffee dyed paper and I want it to hinge so that the face is on the front. But then as you open it, you get the whole thing. Um, so what I want to do is put the hinge on this side and I will be trim it, trimming it and things like that. But I thought I can kind of put it in between this and then I'm going to cover that with a piece of coffee dyed paper <clears throat> so that it's, I just don't want this image right now. I mean, it's a great image. I just don't need that one right now. So I'm going to put glue on the, my hinge. 
So how are you guys doing? I hope you're good. I jumped right in like I do. I want to say hugs and blessings to Theola, Karen, and Celeste. Thank you guys so, so, so much for commenting, for watching. I really appreciate you very, very much. So thank you. And welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to continuing people or people who have watched me for a while, however you want to say it. I appreciate all of you. And it's super fun to have some new, new subscribers. How awesome. I'm very excited for you guys that are just starting on your um, journal journey. Gosh, am I going on, is it seven years? I think so. Seven years on YouTube. How insane is that? It's pretty insane considering when my husband and my son first said, you should make YouTube videos. I was like, nobody's going to watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> and they're like, just try it. And it was like, okay, I'll try it. <sighs> Because at that point, I was really, you know, like, my kids were growing up and, um, you know, didn't need me around, like, all the time, like they do when they're little. And um, I just wanted to do something creative. I was tired of working at the school and all those kind of things. I mean, I, I like working with kids. I just, I had done it for over 10 years and that was just long enough for me so it was fun to start this am I doing this right I really have to keep thinking about this because I really don't want her face I don't want this to be the front is what I'm trying to say if the words would come out of my face you know what I didn't like that so I'm gonna go like this that glue thing, sometimes it just doesn't hit right and then you're in a pickle, you know? You got things where they're not supposed to be. So maybe this will work better, I don't know. Is it too close? Oh, the hinges there. So anyways, I started doing YouTube videos. This is gonna get covered on this side too, so. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's okay. I really kind of did that wonky, didn't I? I'm, I'm very good with wonky. Wonky is seems to be my way of doing it. But, um, yeah. Okay, we're just going to leave it. It's fine. So then this will fold like this. I see Carol Laws do this, you know, and it just seems to work for her. <laughs> Look at how wonky that is. What is wrong with me? <laughs> We're going to do some inking. Oh my gosh. Can't cut anything straight. Can't glue anything straight. I think I had that piece of paper folded crooked to begin with, so it just went downhill from there. All right, so that goes like that on the edge of the page. And then I'll do some something where you can, you know, kind of pull that like that. I don't, I want it to stay even with, yeah, it's, it's this part straight. It's this part that's not. But yeah, it's turned out to be a great thing. So I thank you guys, because obviously I could not do it without you. That is for sure. And this paper is going to be a little too big, but I'm just going to cut it once I get it on there. Because that doesn't really matter. And glue stick. Trying to decide. Oh yeah, I am gonna, I do get to cover that up, huh? What did I do? I really messed that hinge up, you guys, like real bad. I 
I may take pictures of this and it may end up in the garbage can after that. <laughs> no, I probably won't, but <laughs> that's the thing with handmade. You just, uh, some days. I just want to get in covered here. And I always have to do that. Cut the glue with the, you know, the corner of the paper and then it's a big sticky mess. The other issue is that this is all coffee dyed paper, so it's never straight either, which doesn't help my crazy folding skills. Just wanna make sure that glues well on there. Because like I said, coffee dyed paper here. And just wanna make sure it gets down as straight as possible. Need my little glue spreader here. These things are fabulous. I got this, if you're wondering. I know you can get them. I think you can get them on Amazon. You can get them, uh, sometimes you can find them at the dollar store, I have heard. I do not know. I have not found them at my dollar store. But anyway, they're... Um, if you go into Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, they're in the paint section. And a lot of times I do use this side because it's a little, it doesn't bend. This side bends a little, this side doesn't. So a lot of times I hold mine this way. But they just, they work great. All right. And I still have a bubble in there. You see it right there. Why? Just why? Trim up the edges. Yeah, this is a cool image. I like this image. Had to take Pasha to the vet. So, oh, yeah, uh, Thursday and Friday both. No video. Sorry about that because I had to take Pasha to the vet. He's okay. I just, his dang nose. And so they gave him a steroid shot. He hasn't had one since December, so it's not, I know a lot of people don't like when you do that. But um, anyways, that's the only thing they can think of. And antibiotics, it's not in his lungs. It's not anything. It's just his nose. He's just got allergies, but he sounds horrendous. And so they also gave me an antihistamine. He's going to be 13 in October is the other issue. And, um, cause these aren't problems that he's had his whole life. It's really been the last two years. So it's basically just trying to, you know, so he's comfortable. It's not like, um, going to kill him or anything. It's just, he sounds awful. Poor guy. <laughs> he still plays and eats. I mean, he even gained a pound, so he's doing good. He just sounds awful. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I try to um, mess with it. The only problem is I kind of do need the middle. So I think I'm going to take my pencil. I just need an idea of where the middle is because I don't want it's like right here. I don't want to go over it because I'm going to make turn this into a pocket that'll go on the inside as a tuck and then you can write on all this stuff. But I do need to strengthen that because it um, is not the strongest it's a little bit thicker than magazine paper that this collage stuff's on. I mean, it's really nice paper. It's just not very thick. I like that it's matte because I thought it was shiny when I first saw pictures of it, um, like flip throughs on YouTube, because you know the lights shine on it and stuff. It's hard to tell. 
but it is matte, so that is fantastic. And I'm just gonna leave like a little bit of a border around it because I like the torn edge. This edge is flat, but I'm gonna rough it up a little bit. Just gonna frame it a little. Probably should have inked it first, huh? Oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, so they, they're like, I mean, he's, he's in good shape. He just has a disaster of a nose. So yeah, so now he has to have antihistamines twice a day. <laughs> yeah, he came into our room in the morning and just oh my gosh you just it's like oh you sound awful i mean it's all his nose it's not his lungs but it just sounds horrible poor flat nose cat yeah i'm gonna fold it I think it's okay now. It's not that cool. You can tell um, how by how cool it is to the touch, whether it's dry or not. So test that out. Oh, I just cracked the the this. Okay, so in a journal, you'll be flipping along. You'll flip to this page and then you'll be able to open it like so and it's, you can see the whole thing. And then this side you can write on or what have you. And we'll put our pocket uh, over here, I think. And then I'm going to put one of my sketchbook tags. I think will fit. Hopefully I have to go real thin on the glue. Real skinny glue time. My hand doesn't spaz out. Oh, sorry. If you don't like that word, I'm talking about my hand. As in spasm. Okay. Never called anybody that ever in my life. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna go there. And that will work, so yay. So yay for that. And then maybe I'll put a label on this, just cause, I, I mean, I like it the way it is, but might stitch around it too. Let's see if we can find like a little something that we could put on there. That might look good. This could go for nothing but neutrals because I'm using pretty much nothing but neutrals in this. These ones, because uh, they're, um, these are Tracy Fox, who's in, over the sea in England, and the, I think it's A4 is their paper size. And I always print these wrong, but they're kind of cool, these ones that get printed wrong if you put them off to the side like that. Or do I want one on this side? I could do that one. Um, yeah, so that's what I do when I forget and print it wrong. And they're all chopped off over here. They kind of look cool. Instead of throwing them away, because I don't really want to throw them away.
Lobbed the glue again. Okay, that's gonna go there. And then I was gonna put this on here, and that's a Tim Holtz little specimen. Yeah, Pasha is not very friendly to the vet either. <laughs> I always feel so bad because it's like, uh, yeah, he's kind of a pill. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Hissing and growling and all the, all the stuff. It's like, I'll hold him while you give him shots. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a lot of talk. But it's a lot of talk, so you're not really sure. <laughs> He's very salty and sassy. I know well enough because I give him haircuts and everything and he talks all his crud to me too. But I know, I know it's mostly crud. The birdie ticket there. Do I want just maybe a little something? No, I know I don't want it there, but I think I might. I kind of like how that's all torn and stuff at the top. This is why you don't throw away your little book page edges when you, you know, tear them off of your old book pages because they're really fun to just stamp on because they're all janky and fall apart really easy. glue that put a little glue just under here because sometimes those fall off because they're you know oh okay oh lord how do I get this off of here <laughs> there we go thanks to my cute daughter for these I know I say it every time but I I do thank her that she thinks of these things for me. She's very sweet. Very sweet. Okay. There is that. I think that is done. We could put one of those little pull tabs. Oh no! Seriously. I feel like I want to do more to this, but I don't want to cover any of it up. The giant vintage one. Oh no, it's not. That isn't the bit. No, I still don't think that one will fit on there. Ooh, it might. I just really love this big vintage <laughs> uh, label. This is the new white grunge kit. And I kind of like the one above it too. We'll, we'll see which one we like better.
I gotta wash windows and do all kinds of stuff. You know, the weather has not been cooperating, so we just haven't gotten, yeah, that one's too big. We haven't gotten all of our stuff done, and I washed windows for Aiden's graduation party, you know, so they wouldn't be disgusting, and it rained, and rained, and rained, and rained, and rained, and blew wind and dirt, and all the things, so they're disgusting again. It's like we live in a suburban area, but there's still a lot of farmland uh, where we're at, and so all that dirt just blows all over us. Well, I mean, dirt blows everywhere, I know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> When we get those storms, like we got a thunderstorm the other night, and the wind just whips, and then you get the spit of the rain, and then the dirt, and it's gross. A gross mess. And a tap. I don't know if I want... Could do this. I'm using this lace for lace next, but I think I can use part of it to make one of these doodads. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to stick out too much. Mine does not like, it has to be thick paper, like it really likes cardstock. Only. I don't want to see any of those white edges. Okay. Oh, what is my deal? <laughs> You'd think I never used a glue stick in my life. And the paper keeps sticking to the table. Ready to throw hands, as my daughter would say. It's, it's really funny coming from her, if you knew her, because her throwing hands is, is a funny thought. She's the sweetest thing ever. All right, so there it is. There is, what was the prompt? Oh, Angel. <laughs> All right. So there's that one. Let me grab a paper clip if I can find one. Angel. And you could also put a paper clip on it so that stays, you know, because sometimes they flop open and closed and that's kind of annoying. All right, so I said I'm gonna use that lace. That is from my antique posy is it antique posy yeah antique posy um that's one of my old kits very old but that's where that lace comes from oh those are the, on that same page as that scenery so using all of this i don't know i can't remember what i was doing i don't think so I think I tried multiple things. All right, so this is from Joey Cardmaker. It's from his 1920 portraits kit. So what I'm gonna do is turn this into a pocket, top loading pocket. And I'm gonna put some ink on here. And there will be a link to Joey's uh, Etsy. I think I'm going to put some of this in here so it just hangs out the side. I think that that will work fine. I was worried about my friend Joey because I haven't seen him in a while around well I clearly don't ever see him because he lives in Australia but um <laughs> like doing any posts or anything like that 
but he's having a, he's he's having a hard time. He they lost a friend. Um, I think it was twenty twenty three. Might have been twenty twenty four early. I can't remember exactly. But anyways, and it's sort of you know how grief does. You think you're doing all right, and it kind of creeps up on you. So send some love his way. But yeah, so. But I got a message from him that he's good. He just struggling. It's creativity and grief don't go together very well. Well, they can. It depends on the person. Because sometimes people can be quite creative as a way to deal with it. But other times, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> it makes me paralyzed, so for him. Okay, so there's one little bit of lace. And then we are going to put this paper on here. And I'm going to do it first because I'm going to cut this uh, before I add any more lace to that. And I don't remember exactly what all I'm using. I'm not using that bird tag. I think I was going to use that in the um, the other one, but it was a little bit too big. Oh, I forgot to check on the 3D printer. Ah, I hate it when I do that. I think I want this part up here. I just started a book cradle on it, and you need to check it right off because it... And sometimes do wacky things. And I forgot because I had to take the cat to the vet. So hopefully it's alright. Running alright. Sometimes you go in there and there's just uh, plastic strings everywhere. Looks like plastic spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know why it does that sometimes. Those things are persnickety. You think paper printers are bad? You should try 3D printers. <sighs> Luckily, my husband's the one that usually has to deal with them when they're not working because I, I don't know. I know how to get it started. I know how to put new plastic in it if it runs out. I know how to do all that. But when it gets broken and you got to take it all apart, I'm out. I just can't even deal with that. That's high stress. <laughs> It's like the glow forge when I have to take it apart to clean it or fix something. Ah, that's another thing that makes me totally angst, but I know how to do that. My husband doesn't, so. Took me a long while to get the nerve up to do it though. It's like, if I can't get it back together, what am I gonna do? <laughs> All this machinery. Crazy. Oh, I think it needs to go this way. I don't know. It could go either way. It doesn't really matter. All right. I need my envelope punch board because we're going to do a tab at the top. Well, maybe I do want it this way because I'm going to... Yeah, I think I do. Um, you don't want to do that, Amy. <laughs> So I'm going to just cut the little notch, you know, on the side. And then I want most of this to be a tab because that's just how I think I want it. In fact, I might just do the whole thing as a tab. Because otherwise there's only going to be a little bit left and it's just going to look weird. And then we're going to put lace up there. And it will stick out of the top of the pocket. Yeah, 
yeah, I've decided what I'm going to do too. I'm going to do a journal next using the um, Love of Flowers kit. And um, because it has kind of 1920s pictures, I'm going to be using Joey Cardmaker's 1920s uh, pictures, obviously. I don't know if I want it to stick up that high. I kind of cut that card big because it was hard to tell how tall I wanted it. I think I might cut just a little bit off. I don't think I want it quite that big. So yeah, that's what I'm working on next. And I haven't decided, I think it's gonna be the long uh, pocket, the Tall, or pocket, ay ay ay. Journal, tall, skinny journal. I'm gonna do that orientation of it instead of a, the flip-flop thing I've been doing. I could do that in the tall, skinny too, but I'm actually not gonna use that, it won't work well anyway. Can't ever tell which way the lace goes. I'm gonna trim this so it's it's hanging over, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna put a piece of this on and it will also get trimmed because you're probably going, um, <laughs> but I want it to, you know, look like that curve of the pocket. If that makes any sense at all. If it doesn't, hopefully it will in the end. And this will get stitched too. And I also kind of want this piece just here. So this is just tacking it down for now so that, um, you know, it'll stay until I stitch it. That is its only job at the moment. Hopefully this will kind of work. <laughs> Y'all behave now. And this one I might have to pause for a minute and tell him what I'm doing so he doesn't I'm up here trying to talk to me loudly. And I got the bird. I'm gonna put the bird on from the Love of Flowers kit. So first piece of ephemera. Ta-da. That was what most of the vote was for once uh, everybody got a chance to answer. It was, that was the vote. Oh, I forgot to put this. I'm gonna put this next to the lady. These images are really pretty in that kit of Joey's. She's beauty miss. Um, I think that's good. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, then I have a bingo bit. Oh, I was gonna put the bingo bit under there. Getting my order all messed up. That's a bingo bit. And that's a digital in my shop. not much of a lace person. I mean, I do like lace and there's certain things I see and I'm like, ooh, I like that and it's lace. But I don't tend to use tons of lace. I think it's one of those things. It's either your thing or it's not your thing. Not 
that I'm opposed, just not my thing. That's from, these are my, what do you call those? <laughs> They're like label frames. They're in my shop. They're laser cut frames. Do I like that? Do I not like it? I don't think I like it. Do I want part of it? No, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay. That's too big. I think I'm going to use this. Just a silicone stamp that I got from Amazon. Just those cheap ones. It. I don't want too much of the dark grunginess. Ah. All right, so that is my lace. And like I said, I'll run a stitch across there to make sure that the lace stays. I may run one down that too, just to, just to make sure that it stays attached. Okay, so there's lace. And Angel. Alrighty, guys. Yeah, that's going to need to have a paper clip on it at all times. But I'll show you real quick the inside again. And then it does open so you can see more of her. Even though I got that nice and wonky to start. And lace. All right, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you again soon. Love you. Bye.